Hello, my name is Ben Sayer. In this video, I'm going to walk you through importing a GEDCOM file into Roots Magic. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up the database file into which you want to put the GEDCOM records. Now, if you've got an existing file, just open that up using File, Open, if it's not already open. If you don't have a file yet, as is the case here, you can create a new one by clicking New on the toolbar or on the file menu if you click one time on file and then once on new it will ask you the name of the file that you want to create I'm just gonna call it my family and then if you want to change the location of the file you can do that up here on the uh, save in drop down box you can point that to where you want the file to be I'm going to accept the default location of the roots magic folder and then it's simply a matter of clicking save you'll get a box with some options. The first one is the date format that you want to use. If you pull that down you can select other date options. I like this one with the, the number of the day, the abbreviated month, and then the year. So I'm going to leave it set to that. If you want to have a number appear after names on the main screen, either a record number or a reference number, you can select one of those two or leave it none like I am going to on this. I'm going to take the default. I'm also going to take the default on this checkbox this will tell Roots Magic whether you want surnames to appear in uppercase on your screen, whether or not they're, just, they're stored in uppercase in your database. I'm going to leave that the default. And then this last one is whether you want LDS support in Roots Magic. And since I have some Mormons in my family history, I'm going to turn that on. Then we click OK, and now we've got this database. It's empty right now, so I'm going to go ahead and import the file. So again we're back up to the file selection on the menu click on one time moving the mouse down to import and then over to GEDCOM file and I'm gonna click that one time so here we want to select the GEDCOM file that we want to import I'm just gonna pull this drop down and quickly navigate over to where I have a GEDCOM file stored so this Sayer family GEDCOM file and I'm gonna click open so you'll want to navigate to wherever your GEDCOM file is that you want to import. Click open one time. You get this option of whether you want Roots Magic to record any source information about where this GEDCOM file came from. The default is not to add any, but you have the choice if you pull this drop down open to add it to people, add it to events, or add it to people and events. And if, I'm going to select this just so you see what happens. These two fields um, become active or they become um, able to be ent edited so they're not grayed out anymore so you can enter in the name of the person from whom you received the GEDCOM and their address either a physical mailing address or an email address so this is really handy if you do have the situation where you received a GEDCOM from someone else and you want to keep track of that uh, in the future you can look at those records that got imported during that GEDCOM import and be able to discern um, from whom you got the GEDCOM and know how to contact them in this case, this GEDCOM file is from a data that I have in another application, so I'm just going to click No, since I know where all this data came from, and I just want it to use the source information that's in that file. So this is important not to confuse with this with whether or not you want the source information that's in the GEDCOM to be included or not. That will be included. So once you have that set the way that you want it, just click the Begin Import button, and you'll get this little dialog window that will show you progress as it goes and that'll clear when it's finished and then within a few seconds the screen will refresh and all of your data will be there